Hello everyone, this is Kriti Astro, talking, speaking, broadcasting, podcasting from South America. Wow, this, like, I'm listening to this really cool, like, spacey jazz. It's very, like, spacey, you know, uh, it's really cool. Um, so, I hope everybody is doing fine. How are you? Uh, thank you guys for, you know, for, you know, interacting in the comments and, you know, subscribing and just, it's really nice, you know, um, to, you know, to be able to communicate with people all over the world. It's actually very interesting and it's very rewarding and uh, I'm just you know, I'm really loving it, and really thank you guys, <clears throat> but today, I hope everybody's doing fine, um, today the weather here is like very wintry, very wintry, and it's overcast, and there's like a crazy wind, the kind of winds that later uh, brings uh, a rainstorm or something like that. So, it's a perfect day for a little chat, uh, more like, of course, all my stuff is very informal, but uh, this one is more like a chat, you know, about various thingies, you know, regarding uh, the Nicola Bulli case, okay? Because today is 20th of June, and it is just six days until uh, the inquest, the Nicola Bulli inquest, is going to, um, is going to uh, be held for two days, so it's going to uh, have a duration of two days, which is like, I hope, I'm sure there's going to be lots of information, but, you know, anyway, sorry, sorry, there was, there is a guy mowing the garden, mowing the lawn next door and I had to close the door everything um, so yes um, the inquest is on six days, in six days okay and there is they are already being very, the police I mean they are already being again very in my view, fascist like, um, for from and this I gather from news I've heard today that a certain individual who has you know a YouTube channel, um, and also has covered the Nicola Bulli case, he has been, I think. I don't know if the word is arrested, let me fetch the, the news, it says um, On Sunday, June 18th, officers arrested a 34-year-old uh, man a 34, you arrested a 34-year-old man on Fleetwood Road, Green Hall, on suspicion of stalking the man, who is from Swindon, has now been released on conditional bail pending further inquiries. His bail conditions have been set to prevent the interference or intimidation of any witness, including a number of people from the village of St. Michael's on Wire, and to not enter Lancashire for any reason other than to travel directly through the county without stopping. The man will report every Wednesday to Swindon Gable Cross Police Station. Oh my God, I mean, so the police has arrested what well, I believe is to be Curtis Media again. And why am I speaking about this? Uh, because for me, Oh, uh, the government or the police being f like behaving in a fascist manner like really touches home for, m for me it touches my buttons because um, 
I, in, here in South America, as I have told you, uh, in all of South America, we've have had uh, brutal dictatorships in the 70s, okay, and 80s. So, which is, you know, I'm going to, I have a big podcast about that, but um, because here in South America, in Latin America, South America, we are, we know what the government and the police and the military are able to do to its citizens because we know that from the recent past, like the 70s and 80s, right? Um, what is happening there in, in Britain, you know, in England, it's for me, from my point of view, mind, uh, what is happening now with this new arrest of what I believe and many people believe to be Curtis Media. You know, um, the YouTuber who, um, you know, has a checkered past but has done great footage uh, for, you know, who has helped us a lot, all of us who follow the case. Um, he has he has done great content, but I don't know what happens that he gets into people's faces or people because he's very nosy and he doesn't mind the attention. Actually, I think you know the the locals really don't like him, and he has been arrested before uh, on suspicion of um, malicious communications. That's when he posted uh, the recovery, the supposedly, the supposedly recovery of uh, Nikki's body from the river. Uh, he was arrested for that, but then he was, uh, and he had the same conditions, like for three months he couldn't uh, talk about the case, so that's, for me, that's really uh, bad. Just that, you know, not being able to express yourself, just to talk about a case, you know, it's incredible, but... Um, and then it turned out, you know, this is what he said, you know, that um, it has, it was, it was a false arrest, you know, or they didn't have enough grounds to actually, um, how you say, prosecute him on these charges. So they, you know, they lifted his bail, and there is no, he said, there is no action on the case. There is no case. So apparently, it was all. Uh, just, uh, you know, uh, how you say, uh, an attempt to induce fear from the police, from the Lancashire police, because we have, I, I don't want to brush everyone with the same, um, I don't want to tar everyone with the same brush, you know. Um, I don't think every police, it's terrible, but well, from what I've seen so far, the Lancashire police, it's horrible, absolutely, like, it's, I mean, I feel shame, you know, and I'm not even from there. Uh, but it, it's like the, now he was has been uh, arrested again uh, over suspicion of uh, it says on suspicion of stalking. What the fuck was he doing? Okay, I would like to know. Uh, from the guy, what the fuck was he doing that he got arrested again? I mean, are you doing like, like, is the police really being like fascist, like other pigs? Or did you actually do something to, you know, made yourself be arrested again? So I don't know the details. Um, I don't know. Uh, I haven't, it haven't been confirmed to me that it is actually Curtis Media, but for from what I have gleaned, um probably it is so um if that's so i want to know what happened and you know i would like to know what happened and you know why i mean did curtis what did you do curtis i mean what the fuck i mean if he didn't do actually anything or or, or if it is if it turns out to be a bogus accusation, a bogus arrest again, oh dear, I mean, this is going to be the case that never stops giving, you know, the Nikki Bully case. So, I wanted to say that I have heard that it is the same YouTuber, Curtis Media, that has possibly been arrested again, and 
and he he's banned from uh, going to St. Michael's and even going to uh, he can't go to Lancashire. He cannot enter Lancashire um, to stay there. He can if he goes across it to go to other place. He can, but otherwise he cannot just go there. You know, and and it doesn't say that he can't talk about it. It doesn't say here in the news, but we don't know. So, I mean, what happened? I would like to know uh, if this is just a publicity stunt uh, or if the police are really, like, just like going just beyond fascist now. Um, I would like to know that because, you know, it's very interesting um, how police uh, has become like so bad there in England um, in Lancashire particularly because that's that's the case I've been following so that's an interesting piece of news I think uh, and the fact that he was banned again from Lancashire and and has been arrested probably you know who knows you know I don't know if he's on jail he's you know what the fuck you know uh, maybe he's uh, incommunicado, so he can't uh, post anything. So it's really creepy, you know. And and just to check, I want to go to the to Curtis Facebook to see if he. Uh, I'm going to save this post from the uh, Lancashire Police, and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to see to look for Curtis Media. And I know he loves this. I know he loves us people talking about him. No, he hasn't posted anything since. So I wonder, you know, maybe he's um, in jail and uh, and or incommunicado. He can't communicate with anyone. So that's, you know, it's kind of creepy, you know. And ha what have you done, Curtis? Has he done? I mean, I like his content. I mean, not all of his content. And... Um, I know that um, this is what he wants. He loves being talked about, and that's fine, you know. Uh, some YouTubers, of course, are like that, and that's okay. I mean, I, I don't really care. Um, it doesn't mind in this case for me what I think of him personally, as a person, because what I get from this is that he he poked the bear, you know, I think he poked the bear in St. Michael's uh, police and peop like important people there concerning the Nicola Bully case. So I find that very, very, very suspicious. Um, so, you know, I hope, uh, you know, I hope to find out what happened. Uh, if it is <laughs> him, it seems to be because there's no actualization, there's no, an, there's not an update. I'm going to go here to YouTube to see if he has posted anything and uh, guys I'm not doing this just to to talk about someone uh, but I'm talking about Curtis I'm, I'm not in the I don't I don't like talking about other people other youtubers because you know um, but this I'm not talking about him I'm talking about what happened to him the arrest and uh, in relation to the fact that the inquest, the Nikki Bully inquest, is being held in uh, six days. So, was he arrested? So, he cannot go there? You know, they are actually arresting somebody a week before to ensure that no naughty, bad YouTubers go there, right, for the inquest, because they don't want to people to know. They don't want people to know what is actually happening. And they don't want, um, officially what they say is they don't want them to um, um, like maybe harass witnesses. Is this what they said? Uh, what were the charges? Again, I'm sorry, but I can't show you because I don't have the equipment to do so, so uh, bear with me. Um, let me go again. So this guy was arrested on suspicion of stalking. I mean, who the fuck was he stalking? Or is this just another guy? But because they mention uh, his bad conditions have been said to prevent 
the interference of or intimidation of any witnesses, including a number of people from the village of St. Michael's, and to not enter, you know, that's, those are his, his bail conditions, okay? So, um, oh, he has been released on conditional bail pending for the inquiries, okay? So he has been, but he hasn't... Uh, he hasn't said anything, you know, I think what he's doing, he's preparing like a video again, saying I have been arrested again, guys. Um, let me see. No, he hasn't posted a video. Let me see in the community tab. Has he posted an update? Nope. But from what I've seen, uh, his last posts were very aggravating for both parties, for himself and for, for uh, certain people from St. Michael's. Um, so that is why I'm talking about him. It's not about him. It's not just I'm not talking about Curtis because because of him, his person, but of him regarding the Nicola Bulli case, the fact that they are uh, actually banning people from going to St. Michael's because of the inquest. Um, so I wonder, I wonder what the fuck ha has Curtis done now? Has he done something that warrants his arrest? Uh, he was uh, arrested uh, for stalking. So I think maybe the people from Lancashire with whom, with whom he had had many problems of late these last past weeks, you know, uh, not the original ones, you know, but these other people uh, he has had problems with and probably many, many people from the town, the village of St. Michael's or uh, <clears throat> uh, Royston Basie, sorry, St. Michael's, um, maybe, maybe many people have, you know, uh, so I think that so much people, so many people have um, called 911 or whatever, 101, the police, you know, to report this guy, you know, uh, that the police had no other option or felt they had no other option but to arrest him again on suspicion of stalking, yeah? So uh, I think the stalking was done there, you know, in St. Michael's. It's that stalking that happened there and he had, and he had been having uh, lots of problems uh, with the people involved and with other people, like from the town, from the village and outside the village, you know, people from out who were... Um, like, uh, her, like, actually, you know, um, I saw the post and they were actually um, threatening him physically. So, but he's the one being arrested. So, I mean, beyond what you think, what any one of us think about him as a person, uh, whether he's doing this uh, just for, for clicks, for views, uh, for the drama, uh, I don't know, but the fact that he is, he has been arrested, okay, for, because I'm sure because of the people of St. Ma certain people of St. Michael, like gang, uh, like, like ganged on, up on him and said, okay, we're going to go to the police and actually, you know, file a big, big, huge report, you know, and uh, they did it, you know, I don't know how, uh, but they did, and he's been arrested allegedly because I'm not sure it's him but he hasn't updated anything for five days so four sorry for yeah four days ago was his last uh, update and shorts I mean this is fascinating you know the fact that the police can be arrested just for that for me I mean and I know I don't know all I think he was arrested the first time he was arrested was horrible the way he was arrested I have talked about this on other podcasts um, on the Nikki Bully case and uh, that's my personal opinion okay um, regard regardless of him personally as a person okay the fact that the police did that and now this supposedly is like for me it's like wow like it's like uh, very concerning really and it's very concerning uh, not only for the fascist um, overtones but or undertones I don't know but also because you know uh, for us who are really following this case this Nicola Bully case because it really doesn't add up and it, and it, 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 and it, and it not only it doesn't add up but it's the case that it keeps on giving it's like they it's like Royston 
basic like overloaded like 21st century it's like incredible you know um and uh so i i hope i am i you know i get to know what happened you know but it doesn't matter i mean it does matter what i mean is like i hope i really hope i know that uh i'm not uh, going to say what, when, who, but I know that people uh, have been accredited and are attending the inquest, and I can't wait for the report, right? Um, and thank, um, I want to thank those people who are going and to the inquest, and I actually hope um, they actually, um, you know, um, I just can't wait for the report, you know. So, yeah, I mean, this has been like a really like, oh dear. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like there's everything, <laughs> something different every day, like Ron would say, uh, like old Ron would say, something different every day, this case, really, like for real. And um, so, yeah, so that's kind of like interesting, don't you think? Um, so yeah, sorry, I had to go out because <clears throat> it started to drizzle and, you know, I had to check on the um, clothes I have hanging there, <laughs> the wash. Um, so yeah, I, w I just want to talk to do a quick one talking about that because if it is under the same, you know, for the same fake reasons as it was before, it's really concerning and it's like wow I mean it's less than a week for Nicola Bulli's inquest and already they are, they are shutting people down you know again the public so to speak and but anyway I thought it was, it was interesting um, I'm just you know like everybody following this case uh, we are you know hoping to get real information from the inquest um, like I said, my last uh, talk about Nikki's case. Um, this is. I hope. I hope they do right by Nikki. I really hope to God they do because, I mean, otherwise it would. They need to give good information about their findings to if they want to put the people at rest. They need to stop being so so, like shady. You know, um, it's really, really weird times we're living in, folks. So it's really weird, actually. You know, it's like this case. It just, like I say, it, it never ends. Um, like I said to one of my commenters, uh, I think it was SX Out Loud Boy. Um, I thought, you know, this case is not going to be. Oh, it's not going to. It's not going to be over. Um, if the inquest doesn't give out good information to the public and if they don't act ambiguous, shady, you know, uh, suspicious, like, you know, it seems like they're doing, but I don't know. Um, we're going to see what happens. But um, it's very interesting, isn't it? Like, God, what, what drama, what weirdness. So I hope everybody's going is doing fine and um, um, just tell me what you think and you know um, if I don't see you again have a good morning a good afternoon a good evening and a good night God bless you all until the next one bye.